Ace has some kids and even adults addicted. Yeah, Fortnite rehabs are now opening in some parts of the country. 13 consumer advocate Trisha Keen has the story of mm. how the Fortnite frenzy can impact family life. It's bad, man. Chances are, if you don't know what Fortnite is, you've caught the dances from the game. The oh Floss, Best Mates, Take the back. Out, and the Orange cringe. Justice. Or you've heard oh the hype. Oh my gosh, People always I can't. brag about Fortnite. Like exactly. when they always win, they always come to school and just brag about exactly. it. Mother Natalie Brassert and her neighbor Christine have six kids combined, and all of them are fans of Fortnite. The no, moms not. monitor Never the screen time, but the pushback when it's time to shut it down can be a game changer. There's like this switch that goes off. And if she's like not allowed to do something, it's just like a and she's a completely different person. And you got to mm -hmm. pull her back to reality. 15 year old Gavin plays every day 15. and tells us there are a lot of benefits to Fortnite. He points out that it's a very social game because you're playing online with up to 100 other players. It challenges every part of your brain. You have to worry about precision and accuracy and you also have to worry about your speed skills. Gavin also is aware that there are downsides when the game is abused. It's real easy to lose time. I've personally gone overboard many times. Psychiatrist Dr. Joel L. Young has treated children that have become obsessed with video games. He warns of the most obvious red flags when too much game playing crosses over to addiction. If grades are declining, if sociability is diminishing, if they're not listening to authority figures, that's bad, man. if they are starting that's to bad. deceive and Spend it's time starting with to your interfere family. with more the quality of their life and the life of their family. Gavin's mom notices a change in her kids when they play for too long. You can just sort of mm. tell that their attitude gets a little bit more short. They can be a little more just cranky. Both mm -hmm. moms make sure their kids keep a great balance and make sure schoolwork and chores are done before they are rewarded with any screen time. Exactly. I think that Most just making sure you allot some time, one-on-one, -on -one, even if it's just reading for 20 minutes at the end of the day, so they get pulled back from that, you know, obsession. For most kids, it's positive. We should encourage it, regulate mm -hmm. how much time is spent, but recognize that this is a part of today's culture. 13 consumer advocate, Trisha Keen. Man, this is crazy. Like, this Fortnite addiction has gotten out of control. If you guys love my reaction videos to this, let me know in the comments below. I will try to find more Fortnite addictions. If you guys can, link them in the comments so I can react to them. But, guys, work is important. School is important. Fortnite is not important. Like, I hate this game so much. Like, there's so many games in this world that you can play besides Fortnite. Millions upon millions upon millions, like Pac Man. I mean, Pac Man, Mario, Sonic, GTA, all them good games. Halo. It's crazy, man. It is absolutely crazy. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.